the first time since the Cold War a potential nuclear threat has gripped the world. The Russia-Ukraine war is taking a dangerous course, something the US president has called an Armageddon threat. Joe Biden says that uh, scenes from the Bible uh, in fact describe the current volatile situation has called an Armageddon threat. Joe Biden says that uh, scenes from the Bible uh, in fact describe the current volatile situation has called an Armageddon threat. Joe Biden says that uh, scenes from the Bible uh, in fact describe the current volatile situation. Armageddon is the prophesied location where the last mythological battle took place. Biden compared the region with today's Ukraine and warned of an attack that could destroy the entire world. Russia has clearly said it will take all means necessary to defend its territory, which means that nuclear weapons are not off the table. Biden says Vladimir Putin is not joking about his threats. What this means is that Putin might look towards chemical weapons to overturn the losses his military has faced in the ongoing Ukraine war. The threat is growing real by the day. The month of September was a game changer for both Ukraine and Russia. Moscow claims to have an ex Donetsk, Lohansk, parts of Kherson and Zaporizhia. But at the same time, Russian forces are withdrawing from the same regions that they have annexed. Ukraine claims to be making fresh gains in the eastern part of the country. to overturn the situation, Armageddon, Armageddon threat. Joe Biden says that uh, scenes from the Bible uh, in fact describe the current volatile situation. Shalom, Yasharala. I'd like to start this lesson <clears throat> by giving all praises, honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Radash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and told me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Archeum out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. Shalawam to the few Akwath listening in today. I'm back at you with another uh, lesson entitled The Bible Continues to Be Validated. Alright, you heard uh, what Joe Biden has said. You know, says that scenes from the Bible, in fact, describe the volatile situation. You see, so even, you know, your president <laughs> of the of the so-called free world, he's letting you know that that things are happening according to biblical prophecy. All right. But with that being said, you're still going to have your two thirds uh, mocking and scoffing the prophets. All right. Even though you've got Esau coming out and telling you that that, that scenes from the Bible, um, you know, scriptures in the Bible are describing exactly what's going on right now, you know. So, and um, the Bible speaks about a lot of things, you know. In, in yesterday's lesson, I was going into how there's going to be, um, 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 you know, famines, widowhood, poverty, uh, you know, just great calamities and things of that nature that's also written in the bible all right so that for sure is going to come to pass whether you like it or not all right so the men over at great millstone beginning with elder apostle Taha on down and you know the uh, his elders on down you know elder abba bivins uh, king Marsha, all right and, and a few others i've had this truth you know, and we have, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, we have brought this truth forth unto you, which you guys continually reject. Alright? But you heard it from the horse's mouth. Okay, it's Joe Biden says that the scenes from the from the Bible in fact describe the current volatile situation. Look, I'm just looking at some Jehovah Witnesses right now. You know? I'm just looking at, I'm, I'm in transit, you know, they got some stuff talking about will suffering end, you know, we know they ain't got the truth, alright, but we do man, 
And we've been bringing it out You know Beginning with, with the elders They've been bringing it out for, for over 30 years You know And, and, and you know uh, The brothers on down have been impelled You know through the spirit To um, You know start teaching And preaching and try and wake up The lost sheep Of the house of Israel But you know it seems like You know And when it comes to the two thirds these words are falling on deaf ears You see but the, You see <laughs> when, when this thing fully takes place You know when uh, You know Jacob's trouble is fully set World War 3 is, is happening Alright Then they're going to know that a prophet have been among them Because they're going to remember the times when The Lord had had his men Out there preaching had his men uploading these uh, uh, numerous videos on the various streaming platforms to, to, to warn our people, man. And they did not hearken. They didn't listen. You know, so they're not going to have no um, covering, no hedge of protection when this time of trouble comes, man. Because ultimately, what's going on is all according to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is the Heavenly Father's movie, man. And he's the one that's, that's, that's controlling Putin and these other world leaders and leading them into the battle. All right, let's start off there. Let's go to um, the book of Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 1. And it reads, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. All right, so your Joe Bidens, your Putins, your, um, uh, your Liz Trusts, your Emmanuel, Emmanuel Macron's and you know the Lord is the one that's controlling all of them man all right there's there's no such thing as free will the Lord's controlling you Proverbs 20 and 24 reads that um, a man's goings are of the Lord therefore how can a man understand his own way okay so once again Proverbs 21 verse 1 the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will. So it's the heavenly Father that's that's the, uh, you know controlling the minds of these world leaders to 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 uh, go to war in order to what bring forth prophecy because this has been prophesied from before time, man, and we are living in those times now in where World War Three is imminent. You know, there's a time and a season and a purpose for everything, man. Let's see if we can get that real quick. Uh, that's in Ecclesiastes, it's a chapter three. Yep. We'll start at verse one. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay. Let's jump down to verse eight. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. And we're not in that time of peace That's why the Heavenly Father Is stirring up the minds of these world leaders In order to what? Bring forth World War Three, Armageddon As Joe Biden said Which is also in the scriptures Which we're going to bring out You know But you see this is why you need to fear your How about Shumi Shai man Because ultimately you have no control over your life Neither does Putin Neither does Biden all these world leaders are all um, operating under the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So this is why we need to fear the Lord. You know, it's, it's the you know the spirit of Yahweh Shai that keeps us in the truth. We don't keep ourselves in the truth, man. It's the spirit of Yahweh Shai that keeps us in this truth, man. And Lord willing, the Lord don't take that Holy Spirit from us, man. That Rakha Kodash. You know, you can read that prayer in, in uh, Psalms chapter 51. By King David You know Cast not your Holy Spirit From me And that's what we're praying for In these last days man Because we need That hedge of protection From, from the times that are fastly <gasps> Excuse me From the times that are fastly approaching Psalms 34 and 7 The angel of the Lord Encampeth around them That fear him And delivereth them We're hoping to be delivered From this time of trouble Which is clearly Imminent this the times of trouble are clearly around the corner man But those that fear 
Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh are gonna have that hedge of protection. We just read that now. All right, let, let's actually jump up uh, a verse. Psalms 34 and 6. This, this poor man cried, and we are the poor right now. You know, we are. Uh, um, we might be poor according to the standards of this world, but we are rich in faith. All right, and that's the true riches, man. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that, and the Lord is gonna show these people that just, just wait on the Lord. You know, a part of of, of our walk, our faith is is patience, man, which leadeth to godliness. All right. So Psalms thirty-four and six. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And you know, Lord willing, we be a part of that elect. The Lord is going to save us from all our troubles, man, including this threat of World War Three. Uh, we're hoping to be dwelling in, in the chariots of the Lord or, you know, uh, um, you know, the chariots of the Lord to deliver us up into that main fathership, which the Hawashai will be in, where we will dwell and, and, and witness the destruction of Babylon the Great. From the upper atmosphere From the outer atmosphere Alright Verse 7 The angel of the Lord Encampeth around Around about them That fear him And delivereth them And Lord willing We be a part of that number man But we don't want to die The death of the wicked So we're doing all that we can To ensure that we Don't die the death of the wicked Right We're hoping to To, to fit this prophecy And um See that's why we're known As the hopeful elect man this is the, uh, hold on. What's that? Isaiah chapter 26. And verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into, into thy chambers, which is the, the chariots, the chariots of the Lord, which we believe are going to bring forth our salvation. Okay. Spare me a second. As I said, I'm in transit. Enter, come, my people. Enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Oh gosh, man, a lot of traffic this morning. Um, hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And that's what you know we're hoping to be a part of. You know, dwelling in the chariot of the Lord. Right, whilst this indignation be overpassed, you know, the nuclear destruction, the nuclear fire. Oh my goodness, what are these buses doing, man? The nuclear destruction, the nuclear fire, okay, which, um, you know, the radiation from those nuclear missiles are, um, uh, you know, gonna affect the livelihood of the people dwelling on the earth, those that do happen to survive the nuclear holocaust. All right, it's going to bring forth very devastating times. All right. And we want to be safe from that because, you know, as Joe Biden said. That scenes from the Bible, in fact, uh, in fact, uh, describe the current volatile situation. Malachi 4 and 1 says, behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Right. So that day is surely coming, you know. And, and, and yeah, as I said, we want to be dwelling in the upper atmosphere, in the chariots, in the chariot of the Lord, witnessing the destruction of our enemies, man, of Babylon the Great. Okay. Isaiah 26 and 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. And that's what he's doing. He's uh, working on the minds of... Of, of, of these world leaders In order to bring forth his judgment man The earth also shall disclose her blood And shall no more cover her slain Alright so this time is getting ready to happen man This, this great destruction Is getting ready to happen man Alright and this is why We need to fear the Lord This is why we need to trust in him man Because we're going to be delivered From that time of trouble Lord willing, we be a part of that elect, all right? A hopeful elect. Let's go to the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, 
until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that's what we're getting ready to see. We're getting ready to see the earth, uh, you know, most parts of the earth, not, not all, you know, like mainly the land of, 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 of America, Israel, because Israel, that needs a, 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 a deep, fiery cleansing before we can inhabit that land again. And various parts of the earth, which will be destroyed by the nuclear destruction, okay, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that's what we're witnessing now. We're witnessing the Lord, you know, uh, um, gathering the nations, you know, working on the minds of, of these world leaders, you know, to bring forth World War Three. all right? And ultimately to destroy them, to judge them, man. That's what's going on right now, all right? Close out here in uh, Revelation chapter 16 just to get what Joe Biden was talking about. Um, let's start at verse 15. Verse 15 reads Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth, and we're the ones watching, man. You know, Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I've set a, a watchman upon the towers. You know, we're the ones that, you know, going into the news, uh, uh, looking at what's going on around the world, earthquakes and, you know, just basically taking the time out to, to, to really try and keep up with all the, the, um, the events happening on, on the four corners of the earth. Okay, so we're watching, man, and then we bring it out, doing these lessons, doing these sit downs teaching this word on the highways and the byways all right um uh, let's read verse 15 again behold i come as a thief blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments you know keeping your garments meaning keeping your understanding of the truth you know not not being defiled with women meaning that you know not being defiled with these false philosophies these these other doctrines all right which are not um, truthful at all Alright um, Lest he walk naked To so walk naked meaning you don't have the covering of this truth Alright you, You've become filled with that fault With them false philosophies Them false doctrines Alright And they see his shame And your shame is going to be seen When the Lord Comes to judge this earth And you're left there To be a part of the judgment Fuel for the fire That's going to be your shame Okay Verse 16, and he gathered them together into a place in the Hebrew tongue called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon, which in the Hebrew tongue is actually Hamagadwan. And this is what Joe Biden was speaking about. And this is what's happening because, you know, we see the, uh, the great river Euphrates that's been dried up to prepare the way of the kings of the east. Because we know this battle is going to take place in the Middle East, the battle of Armageddon. Um, let me see if I can get that real quick. Yep. Uh, this is Revelation 16 and 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the whole and, and the water thereof was dried up. And this prophecy is happening now, man. You can go do your own research, man. So this Bible, once again, is, is constantly being validated. Yet the people still come up against it, man. And call us a hate group Or we're, we're doing hate speech When all we're doing is speaking the truth man And you know I've always been told Since I was young that the truth hurts The truth ain't meant to be nice man No Edomite wants to hear that Hey you're going to be led into captivity For enslaving the, the apple of the most high's eye A.K.A. the Israelites But it's the truth Just because you don't want to hear it Doesn't change the fact that It's, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to happen You know It is what it is we had to drink of the cup. Yeah, we're the Lord's chosen people. So you, you, you Edomites and you other nations surely are going to drink of the cup. Right? You're not escaping the judgment of the Lord, man. 
even if you try and kill yourself, the Lord is just going to reincarnate you in another body, man. So you're definitely going to uh, 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 feel the wrath of the Lord, man. All right. Verse 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Because this is where World War Three Armageddon is going to be fought. All right. So, um, you know, once again, this Bible is being validated. As Joe Biden said, Joe Biden says that the scenes from the Bible, in fact, describe the current situ the current volatile situation. Well, the truth of the matter is the, the Bible has always described the current situation of the world because this is a living book. This book is, is, is alive and is breathing. The spirit of the Lord is very, very active, man, and has always been. All right. It says in Isaiah 40 that, you know, the Heavenly Father, he don't faint, neither is he weary, man. He doesn't rest. The will of the Lord is constantly being done. All right. Everything that's happening in this world is because it's been written here in the scriptures, man. All right. But uh, look, look how much there is to the Bible. You know, the Lord can't put every minute detail in there like, oh, this particular person is going to be working this job. They're going to be doing that. It's going to be there at this particular date, time and hour. But, you know, we get a summary Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. We get a summary of what's to happen. And, and, and you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh we understand the prophecies. All right. So, you know, we're going to close out here in Revelation 11 and, 11 and 14. The second woe is past. All right, that's World War II. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So we're witnessing the third woe, World War III, Armageddon, Hamagad One, coming quickly, man. All right. So once again, let's, let's leave it on this quote that Joe Biden said. Joe Biden says that the scenes from the Bible, in fact, describe the current volatile situation. All right. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Until next time I say shalom.